Okay, this 2012 Yamaha golf cart G29. If you're having a problem with your golf cart, this one has three problems. It's got the drive belt going out. That's an easy fix. It's got a starter problem and it has a fuel problem. Kind of spits and sputters, won't stay going. I mean, once it gets warmed up, it's a lot better. But on the electrical side of it, I've already changed out the already changed out the solenoid. And that wasn't the problem. So we're gonna change out the brushes on the starter. Sometimes this golf cart will go for two, three months and then like the battery's dead. So it's also probably not charging good. And that will also be in the starter generator. Then I have to put the charger on it overnight. I'm gonna show you real quick what the uh, golf cart's doing. And I've already recorded these clips, but it's kind of hot and muggy out here. And, and of course it'd work a lot better, you know, in the hot and humid area. But it seems to be working a lot better today, but most of the time, or a lot of times when you first start using a golf cart, it will be able to put the gas pedal all the way to the floor and it won't do nothing. You have to sit there and work the gas pedal and it won't do nothing. So it's not making a good connection on the starter. Or it's making a good connection on the starter, but it's not. I, don't, I believe the brushes are bad in it. It's 2012 and it's probably, they're probably getting worn down by now. So I've already got the parts they should be in tomorrow. And we're going to at least do that. We're going to at least change out the, change out the brushes in the starter. We're going to change them whether they need it or not. And then the fuel problem, we'll just have to check the carburetor and the lines and the and see what's going on there. So I'll show you real quick on the on the way it's running. It works okay going forward or backwards. And that's gonna work fine, right? Of course. keeps dying like that that's gonna be a carburetor carburetor fuel issue right there but a lot of times when I put a lot of times I put down on the gas see like right there they won't even engage it right all the way to the ground. Hey, 
it's working better today than it has in a long time. It won't. And it's real hot and muggy out here, so. See that it's all the way to the ground. See how the starter's not engaging? I'll try it again. That's gonna work good today, of course. A lot of times it's just like having a key off. You're just sitting here, can't get to engage, can't get to do nothing. That's what it does. You sit there and mess with it before you. Okay, I wanted to record that first before I tore down. Kind of give you an idea of what it's doing. And I also have a drive belt that's going out. That's what you heard just then. So we're going to change the drive belt. We're going to take off the, the generator belt, alternate, or the starter belt and alternator belt. That drive belt is done. That's been on there a year, and I figured I'd get more t more time out of it than that, but apparently not. I figured you get two or three years out of it, but I guess not. I don't use this a whole lot, but so we're gonna be taking off this. That part right there, that's the starter generator. I'll be taking that out. I'm gonna be putting in new brushes on it. Now, probably take off the carburetor, clean it up, and see what else we need to do with it. Okay, before I take the battery cable off, I just pulled the main drive belt off and it really don't look that bad at all it's got a year of use on it so I'm going to save it for a spare, a backup see it's only got one little little cord coming out of it so I'll just cut that off trim it up here and I'll just use it for my emergency belt or if I'm away away from a mile or two or three miles from the house and a major catastrophe happens to my main belt I'll be able to throw this one on I got a new one in my keep one in my glove box that's the new one I haven't ordered another belt yet but I may not need to worry about it generally they, they just start splitting in the middle and they just the last one just split right in the middle and it wasn't it wasn't any good or it starts coming off here in the middle here but I'm gonna go ahead and trim this up and I'm gonna I'm gonna save it okay I just got this belt cleaned up looks a lot better yeah it's pulling you see that edge right there pulling out so yeah I'll be able to get a few more miles out of it no use throwing it away what'll happen it'll probably come out some more and these two will probably separate yeah this will separate off the top of it, it probably won't be no good but like I say I can use it for an emergency belt I'll just stick it in my glove box and save it for another day
Okay, I gotta get the battery cables off. Okay, I disconnect the negative side. Stick it over there on that right there. I'll go get some wrenches to start working on that starter. Taking it loose. Okay, in order to get that other starter bolt, we're gonna have to pull the air cleaner off. The air box. So we'll flip these up. cleaner looks pretty clean I'll blow it out some more now I get to this bolt right here a little better I like I might need a socket okay I got both sides loose on the starter bolts right here on the front side now before we drop it off of there we need to disconnect the the starter wires Red one and the black one here. This is the tensioner down here. 10 millimeter. I loosened it up. It's got a little bit of slack on it now. Bolts are a little bit. Loosen them up a little bit more. We'll go back on the other side and disconnect the, the power wires now off the starter. Now we'll get the 10 millimeter socket. We'll take off the negative one first. Now if you're having starter problems, this might be a good place to check. Check the back of your starter and make sure these connections are, are really, get, really good and tight. Cause that can be a that can be a problem okay I'll cut this strap right here make sure I'm not cutting no wires Big old zip tie. Okay, got that disconnected. Okay, I'll see if we can't roll it off the big big pulley down here. I'll smash my finger. Okay. that belt I'll just leave it hanging there now we gotta get got a small bolt down here on the bottom down here I don't think it's 10 millimeter I think it's a little bit bigger than that okay now we'll come over on the other side finish taking it off Okay, before we take it completely out, there is another battery connection clear in the very back in the center of it. I have to show you that whenever I get it out. But before you take it completely off, it's just another 10 millimeter bolt. So this one here is uh, 11 sixteenths. These big old bolts here. Okay, I'm going to go around the other side and see if I can't grab that thing. Got all the bolts out of it.
Don't want to drop it. Okay, this is the one I was talking about right here. Okay, there's the starter. So we'll take it on the workbench and we'll start taking it apart. Okay, we've got the starter out of the golf cart. Now we're going to change out the brushes. We've got the parts right here. So first thing we're going to do is take off this back cover. And your brushes are right in here. I've been kind of anxious to see how, see what these look like. A 10 millimeter on that little bolt right there. We're going to change these out whether they need to or not. These, This is 2012, so I would say they're probably pretty worn. And I was also having a trouble with this thing charging too. Once in a while I'd have a dead battery on the golf cart so I'm guessing it's probably going to be the brushes not making good contact so let me get that camera over here a little closer so you can see a little better okay I want to get that camera a little closer before I start taking it apart may need a little hammer here Well, they're not as bad as I thought they were. They're still sticking up there pretty good. I'm going to pull it apart here. Got little wear indicators on there. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and change them out. See what the new ones look like. Yeah, it's probably a quarter of an inch shorter than the new ones. Check your bearings. We're gonna sand this armature here down good. It don't look too bad. So far, the only thing I could tell that was probably might be a problem is this, this bolt right back here. When I got ready to take it off, it wasn't real tight. I mean, it wasn't as tight as what you'd, what it needs to be. So that might be the problem right here. That can be a problem. So I'll just move this here to the side. All the bearings and everything looks good. This kit here is less than $9 free shipping. If you need to buy some brushes for it. They're on eBay. There's the part number. You can see it. I'll have to get me a screwdriver so I can take these brushes here out. 
Okay, I, I use a flat flat blade screwdriver. Seems like I can get a better grip on it. The Phillips generally kind of you gotta basically have the right size. A flat blade screwdriver I believe works better. We gotta pull that spring back. And take note how this is put in there. See the little the little bevel edge here? It goes towards the spring. So we gotta keep that in mind. Pull that spring up with a screwdriver like that. Take your other hand and drop the brush down in there. And we're going to leave them like that. Basically preloaded. When you get ready to stick this back on, all you got to do is pop them back down in there. Otherwise, you'd have to. You can go ahead and drop down in there, but then you got to. Just have to push them back. That way, you get ready to stick that on there. Then they'll be ready to go. So now we'll get this little wire on there. Okay, keep in mind you don't want any of this touching any of the the metal here this cannot touch the metal or you have a short okay that looks good we'll take number two out of here Yeah, I'll just save these brushes here, the old ones. I'll show you the difference in size here. See, it's a good quarter of an inch or so. Yeah, they could have stayed in there another five years. But that means I got all this tore apart. I'm going to go ahead and change them. It's less than 10 bucks, so why not? Okay, if you haven't preloaded like that, you'll know you already got that one done. So now I'll take this cover here off and this cover off and screw it here. We're going to grab that spring there. Okay, here's the new one. We'll just drop this down in there. Wrap this spring back around. In fact, I think we'll just put on the wire first. Okay, now I'll grab that spring down here. Bring it up and over. That shot her down in there, didn't it? Okay, now we'll set them. This one's ready to go, this one's ready to go, and I've got two more to go. Now, I'm not saying this ain't going to fix it, no. If some of these brushes here is not making a good connection, like this in here, looked like it had some corrosion on it. Well, then it might just...
might just fix it and not even know it. It's another short one. Grab another new one out of here. Okay, I gotta pull that spring out of there. Drop that down in there. Now all this dust right here, it's not a good idea to breathe any of this stuff. So while you're doing this, you need to be surfing it through like I am. It's not having any fans going because you don't want to take a chance. In fact, it might be a good idea to even have a mask on. Yeah, that's cancer causing whatever material that is. Even says right on the package. So yeah, you don't want to breathe any more that than you need to. Okay, now we get this spring over there. Yeah, this don't take very long to get all this done. And this is already number three. Okay, now we'll shove this all the way up. Now we just lack one more. Lack this one right here. Okay, flip that spring back. It's almost impossible just to hold it with your screwdriver. I just flip it down, let her go. Just let it go. Pull that old one out. I'll grab another one here. Like I say, I probably could have left this in another five years, but Ben's, I'm already into it. I wasn't sure how good these brushes are going to be, so I went ahead and bought a set of brushes. And I was having a problem with the with its turning over. You stick the foot foot pedal down on your on the ground all the way down it won't even won't even turn over and I changed out the solenoid thinking that might be the problem but I'm thinking now it's probably going to be might be a combination of a couple things here because it wasn't as tight as it should be and you have to sit there and mess with it and before the thing would engage and I believe that's probably what it was okay now we'll grab the see how these springs right here just let them fly now we get ready, when you get this loaded and the screw back on, just grab that spring right there and just pull it back around. Just like that. Now we shove it all the way in. What that does is puts that spring out here on the side of it. You can buy this whole plate right here. I think it's only like $15 with the brushes already loaded into it. This is a Hitachi starter for golf carts. This covers uh, Yamaha. It covers, this covers several different 
brands of golf carts. I'm gonna check your wires here. Make sure nothing's touching over here on your grounds or over here on your case. You don't want nothing touching on the case over here. So everything looks good. Probably wouldn't hurt to try these screws again. I seen guys taking put these brushes in without even pulling it off the starter. I mean, you go drop a screw down in there, and you got a mess. So we're gonna get some sandpaper. And we're gonna go over this real quick. It's in pretty good shape, but we're gonna make her nice and shiny. Okay, this is some uh, 800 grit. Just grab the back of the pulley here, wrap it around there, and just turn it. Flip it around, we'll try it again. It's already looking better. That'll work. So now these are all ready to go. We're going to stick this on there and keep an eye on how this thing come apart. You gotta have this ear right here sticking out with this one. So you'll be able to put it back. So it goes together just like this. Okay, before we go any further, we're gonna release these, uh, these brushes here. We'll drop them down. Make sure the, the spring is on top of the brush here. I'll roll it here. That way that spring will keep pushing it down as it wears down. Okay, that one's on top. Push that one down. Move it. Spring up. There you go. You heard it snap. Also, as you put this cover back on. Keep in mind where your where your wires are coming out for your brushes. Make sure you don't touch this part. So we can't have no shorts. That one looks good. That spring is on top of the brush. That one's on top of the brush. That one's on top of the brush. Nothing here in the way here. This is the last one here. Thought I had one more. Okay, that one's ready to go. Okay, now we can stick the covers on.
Pretty sure all these covers are the same. Stick it up on, stick it up like that. Stick our bolts down in there. Turn until they drop. Turn them backwards like this until you hear them you hear the threads hear the thread drop now you're ready to turn them in that way you know you're out right there same thing on this one you hear it drop Just screw it in Okay, now we got to tighten this up a little bit. Check your covers again. Okay. This one goes back on here. Red wire, ground wire goes here. And this is your charging, charging circuit right here. But when I took this apart, this bolt right here, like I say, was wasn't really really tight like it should be. So I'm thinking that's going to be the problem. I always check your connections. But Ben's, this was a 2012 starter i figured the brush has been a little bit more worn than that but they wasn't bad it wasn't bad at all but i mean they could have stayed in there another another five years probably i use this golf cart quite a bit going back and forth to the post office not every day. I'd say three to four times a, a week. I sell stuff on eBay, so. I run down there to the post office two blocks away. It really comes in handy. Check that again. Okay, there's a rebuilt starter. I'll go wash my hands up take a break and then we'll get that thing put back on
Okay, I'm putting on the battery. Negative post on here. Get tightened down. Okay, that's good and tight. Okay, I don't have the drive belt on there yet. And I don't want it on there yet until we test it out. See if it's going to start. Keys on. Let's see what it's going to do. I think we've got the starter problem fixed. I mean, it kicks on every time now. I still think it was just this back cable back here. On the positive side, it goes into the starter. I'll have to get me some more zip ties and stick that down. So now all I gotta do is I'm gonna end the video here. The next video will go into the carburetor, stuff like that, and the fuel lines and see if we can't get that spit and sputter figured out. <laughs> Starter just like new again. what I'm dealing with I'm not sure if it's a fuel pump or in the carburetor but we're gonna work on that too it could even be a fuel filter fuel filter right here check make sure that's okay not getting enough fuel yeah we gotta gotta fix that problem next and we'll have it done That starter is working really good now. Yeah, that's as good as a new one. I might need to tighten that starter belt up a little bit more.
See how that starter kicks in every time now. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. The next one we'll go into the carburetor, fuel pump, and all that stuff. So, we did good on this one. So, thanks for watching.